Hey, it's Damien, and today we're gonna do a brief audio comparison between the Rode VideoMic NTG and the fairly new but very inexpensive Tackstar SGC600. So to let you know a little bit about the setup we have going, I'm in my home office, which is not acoustically treated, um, but I do have a blanket right here on the table to absorb some of the echo. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't sound too echoey, but I just wanted to, us to hear the comparison between these two microphones. The Tackstar uh, SGC600 is boomed right above me right now, about 12 inches from my mouth. This is kind of a traditional boom setup that you would have in a studio or if you're a booming talent, uh, you're trying to get it just as close as you can to their mouth. So that's kind of what I wanted to replicate here. As I talk about um, one mic, we're gonna be listening to the other mic. So as I talk about the road, we'll listen to the Tackstar and vice versa. So again, right now you're, you're listening to the Tackstar SGC 600. It's running into my Fuji X-T3 and the gain setting on the Fuji is all the way down. It's at negative 30, which is the lowest it goes. On the Tackstar right now, it's at zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Rode for a few minutes. If you have headphones, go ahead and put the headphones on so you can really hear the differences between these two microphones. Um, this is the Rode VideoMic NTG. Right now this mic uh, goes online for about $250. And one thing that's really cool about this mic, if you, if you remember the old Rode VideoMic Pros, they just had a plus 20 dB switch. And um, this one actually has a really smooth uh, gain knob that you can spin and twist and it gives you a very smooth transition between the different gain settings on the microphones. I would say this is probably the most popular on-camera shotgun mic on the internet right now. A lot of people have been raving about it and for good reason. It's a really, really good mic. It has some really good features. Maybe I'll do a full review on it at some point and talk a little bit more um, about the features. But one thing that I don't like about this mic and uh, just really quick, if you're thinking about buying it, is if the mic is plugged into the camera, it has a smart feature to where when your camera turns on, the mic turns on, and when your camera turns off, the mic turns off, which sounds very intuitive, because uh, what, what has happened in the past with the video mic pros is I would forget to turn them off, and then when I go to use them again, the battery's dead, and to open the battery door on those things was a nightmare um, on the older ones. So. That it, it's a good idea, but what ends up happening is when the camera goes to sleep, the mic turns off as well. But when you wake the camera up, the mic doesn't turn back on. So in order to get the mic to turn back on, uh, you actually have to manually turn it on by pressing the button on the top, or you have to turn the camera off and turn the camera back on. Um, and this has screwed me over once because I wasn't monitoring my audio the way I was supposed to. All the levels were fine, and then we, we did some adjustments with the talent that we were filming, and the camera went to sleep, and we woke it up real quick and started recording, and the mic um, didn't wake up with the camera. It, it, it turned off when the camera went to sleep, and it didn't turn back on when we woke the camera up. And so you just gotta be aware of that. It's just something you constantly have to check to make sure that the mic is turned on and um, I just feel like it's an extra step. It's just a little bit of added frustration. So I think it's a good idea what they were trying to do, um, but I think like in practicality, you just have to pay a little bit more attention to the mic, and that's something that I don't really want to do. Uh, I want to set up that it's more simple, not more complicated. So uh, that's one thing I don't like about the mic. There's a lot of things I do like about it, but I could talk about that in a full review at a later time. What I'm gonna do right now with the Tackstar is I'm just gonna be completely silent and then I want you to listen to the noise floor and just hear um, what nothing sounds like. So you might hear the fan to the light that's right behind the mic, but I think that's about it. I don't really hear much sound outside. Um, but yeah, that's the Tackstar SGC 600. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the mics right now. So now we're gonna talk about the Tackstar. And uh, I love this little mic, the Tackstar SGC600. Um, I got it off of Amazon not too long ago. I paid about $40 for this microphone. So $250 versus $40. I think you can actually get the mic for cheaper. 
um, if you're willing to wait for longer shipping right now, but I wanted it in a couple days, so I paid a little bit more to get it prime. Maybe once they're a little bit more popular and there's a lot more products out there, uh, we'll be able to see a lot more in that $30 price range. I think I got the older version of this mic, which I have right here. This is the older, big, fat, ugly version. Um, but I got this for about 30 bucks, uh, like seven, six or seven years ago, I can't remember now. Um, but this one, man, they really refined. It still has uh, like a plus 10 dB on the back, you can see there. Um, it's a much cleaner looking microphone. I do love this front door. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there, like how the front door opens for the battery. Uh, it's just super easy and convenient. There's no like, there's really nothing that's annoying about this mic for me. That's kind of hard to say because a lot of things can tend to annoy me sometimes. And this is just, it's just a simple microphone that sounds pretty good for $40. Sounds very good actually for $40. And um, it just works. It's got a very simple on switch. So when it's on, I know it's on. I think when the battery starts to get low, the green light turns uh, yellow or red. Um, it, just, it just works really, really well. And you can put it through a lot of abuse, uh, especially if you're out running and gunning, you're outside a lot, maybe it gets rained on. And you honestly, for 30 or 40 bucks, like you could have three or four of these and it's it's no big deal. It's got the little curly cable, which a lot of people like, but it doesn't have the detachable cable like the Rode does. Um, the Rode, uh, if your cable breaks, you could just get a new cable. Whereas this, if your cable breaks, you just gotta get a new microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet right now and then you can listen for the, the noise floor. All right, so for the ending of this video, we're back onto the Tac Star, just so you can hear again, just uh, the difference between the two. Why don't you comment below, how do you think that these two sounded? How did they compare? I really think the Tac Star is a great value for money, uh, $210, $220 cheaper. And so if you don't need a lot of the frills that the Rode offers, I think the Tac Star is really a great option. Uh, I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get to my first 1,000 subscribers. So if you wanna be part of the first 1,000, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see any other comparisons between these two mics or any other mics. And uh, that's it. So see ya.